This weekend we see nearly 9,000 dogs arriving here at the Royal Welsh Showground in Bilth Wells with just one dog going home with the title of Best in Show. Welcome to the Welsh Kennel Club Championship Dog Show in the scenic countryside of the Principality. Now as the show gets underway, we have a lot to look forward to with seven groups and best in show. But on the final day of the show, we will take a look at some of the breeds in the gun dog group, from retrievers to spaniels and water dogs to working dogs. But as per usual, we will take a look at the shows we've missed since our last programme at the Hound Show. Our canine expert for the weekend is Simon Parsons. Now, Simon, a day after Hound Show came Paint and Championship Show. Tell us a little bit about the main winner there. Well, the, the dog who won Best in Show at Paynton was uh, an Irish Water Spaniel, a relatively unusual breed, but one which does very well uh, at this level in spite of its lack of numbers. Uh, the dog, he's called uh, show champion Whistle Stops Elements of Magic. He's owned by Judith Carruthers from Carlisle in partnership with Colleen McDaniel, one of his co-breeders who lives in, in California. This boy, he came over from uh, America to this country at the beginning of last year's show season and he made a huge impact immediately in the show ring and won three best in show all breeds last year, which is, is a considerable achievement, uh, and ended up as a top gun dog all breeds. Uh, he started this year by, at Crufts show and he won the gun dog group there as well and endeared himself to the crowd by his antics in, in, in the ring. He's quite a character. At Paint and Show, he won his fourth All Breeds Best in Show, and of just a few days earlier, he'd also won Best in Show at the Gun Dog Championship Show. So he's on a great run at the moment, and actually won two Gun Dog groups two days running, which is something I don't can't recall any dog doing previously. And two days later, we saw a first-time Best in Show winner under Jean Lanning at Bournemouth. Yes, uh, Bournemouth show, it's it definitely the lucky show for Sue Ellis, who has some big winning Alaskan Malamutes. This dog is called champion uh, Cheo, all eyes on me, otherwise known as Enzo. And uh, last year he was runner up to Best in Show at Bournemouth. Four years ago, Sue won Best in Show with his uncle at Bournemouth. And she's also had a, a bred another group winner at that show. So that's four group winners in five years for the Cheo Kennel at Bournemouth, which is a, a remarkable achievement for, for, for a breeder. Absolutely. Thank you, Simon. Thank we'll you. catch up with you later on. Now, the groups on the first day of Welsh Kennel Club are hounds and toys. We're going to head to the main ring to see the hound group judged by Espen Eng. So they're going to be moved individually, and that's going to be led off by the Afghan Hound. 1364, the breed was judged today by Mr. Jeff Horswell. Now the Bassett Folk de Britannia, number 1506, and the breed was judged today by Mr. Nick Price Smith. And now the Basset Griffon von Leon Petit, Mr. Rod Price judged the breed today. And this one's number is 1559. And now we see the miniature smooth-haired Dachshund, number 1940. And the breed was judged today by Mr. A. Bethel. And now we see the Deerhound, a breed judged today by Mr. Frank Kane. And this one's number is 2117. And here we see the Norwegian Elkhound. Mr. Sigurd Wilberg was the pre-judge, and this one's number is 2249. And here comes the Otter Hound, 2272. A breed judged today by Mrs. Zola Rawson. And now off goes the Rhodesian Ridgeback. A breed judged today by Mrs. Sue Pollockule, number 2350. And the Slugi, 2439. A breed judged today by Mr. Paul Singleton. And finally, but by no means least, the Whippet, number 2513. Breed judged today by Mr. Paul Jones. So, Mr. N, having just a look a line, along the line and contemplate. And he's called for the award board, so we're nearing a decision. So, with the award boards in place, the winner of the Hound Group Welsh Kennel Club 2012 is... The Petit Basset Griffon Vondion, number 1559. And group two, the Norwegian Elkhound, 
number 2249. And hound group three is the Basset Fauve de Breton, 1506. And hound group four is the Deer Hound, number 2117. Again, can I ask you to congratulate the short, other short-distant hound breeds as they leave the ring? And can I ask you to do your lap of honour, please, so our audience can give, show their appreciation and congratulate you on your success here at Welsh Kennel Club 2012. The winner of the Welsh Kennel Club Hound Group 2012, the Petit Basse Griffon Vondion. 1559. So Jilly has another group win under her belt, her 21st in total. We'll see her later on in Veston show, but now let's go straight back to the ring for the conclusion of the toy group. And each again I think will be moved by Mr Frank Kane. So the first to be, got to be moved is the Australian Silky Terrier, a breed judged today by Dr Geoffrey Kerr. And this one, exhibit number is number 65, number 65. And now the long coat to Joao, number 286, prejudged today by Mr. Albert White. And now off goes the smooth coat to Joao, prejudged today by Mr. P.R. Wheeler, and this one's number is 478. And now here goes the Italian Greyhound. Breed judged today by Mr. Martin Freeman. This one's number is number 680. And here we see the Maltese, a breed judged today by Mr. Albert Easton. And this one's number is number 895. And now the Papillon, number one, zero through three, two. The breed judged today by Mr. Howard Ogden. And now off goes the Pekingese, number one, 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 six. Breed judged today by Miss J. Lee. And finally, the last of our ten short, eight shortlisted breeds, by no means least, the Pomeranian, number 1166, breed judged today by Mrs. J. E. Almond. So the award boards have been called, so we're closing in on a decision for this, the toy group at Welsh Kennel Club 2012. I think I can say the winner of the toy group Welsh Kennel Club 2012 is... It's the smooth-coated Chihuahua, number 478. And toy group two is... It's the Pomeranian, number 1166. Toy group three, the Maltese, number 895. And toy group four, the Italian Greyhound, number 680. So we have our winners. Can I ask you again to congratulate the other four shortlisted breeds as they leave the ring? Can I ask you to do your lap of honour, please? Congratulations to the winner of the Toy Group Welsh Kennel Club 2012, the Smooth Coat Chihuahua, number 478. So that's a fifth group win for the Smooth Coated Chihuahua champion Copymere Celebration. A great win. Let's go and take a look now at the winners of the working group. I think they will be moved around the ring. And the first one to go is the Alaskan Malamute, number 3848. And the breed was just today by Mr. Rob Mulvey. Followed by the Bernese Mountain Dog. Mr. Peter Johnny was the breed judge today. And this one's number is 3946. And off goes the Domino. Number 4227. Put through by this is Jay Davison, the blue judge. And now off goes the giant schnauzer. Mr. Frank Kane was the blue judge today. And this one's number is 4336. 
Now we see the Great Dane, 4-3-5-8. Mr. D. Robinson, the great judge today. And here goes the Portuguese motor dog, 4-6-2-3. Mr. Stuart Mallard was the great judge. And now we see the Rottweiler, 4-6-8-2, put through to the group by Mrs. K. Gilliland. And finally, but by no means least, the St. Bernard. 4758, put through to the group by Mr. Bob Gregory. Come back after the break to see the working pastoral and terrier groups. Chairman was sat in the audience tonight. Yes. What would you ask him? To care. To care about us a bit more. To remember that the Kennel Club is supposed to be for the furtherance of pedigree dogs, and we are pedigree dogs. Um, I want them to care about us. I want them to share our interests. I want them to stop caring about the RSPCA and care about us. I can remember once Edna gave me a bitch that I was very thrilled with and Olive said, where did you get that from? And I said, Mrs. Harold gave it to me. I think she did, she couldn't have sold the damn thing, could she? <laughs> <laughs> and then Olive gave me a bitch that I thought was lovely and Edna said, well, make sure you showed him long grass with feet like that. <laughs> They stop my life, effectively, for mistakes. I see myself as the judge that was banned. to Welsh Kennel Club here at the Royal Welsh Showground in Bilth Wells. After a soaking yesterday, it has cleared up a little bit today and it's day two. So the turn of working pastoral and terrier groups. Now let's head over straight to the main ring to see the winners from the working group. So I think we're ready for the award board, so we are nearing a decision. So. As Mr. Eng walks along the line again, I think he has made a decision. So the winner of the working group, Welsh Kennel Club 2012, is... It is the St. Bernard, 4758. And working group 2 is... It's the Bernese Mountain Dog, 3946. Working group 3, the Alaskan Malamute, 3848. And working group four, the Great Dane. Number 4358. So again, can I ask you to show your appreciation to our other shortlisted breeds at the new ring? The winner of the working group, Welsh Club 2012, the St. Bernard. 4758. Now we go on and take a look at the pastoral group. So the first of our pastoral breeds to go around the ring is the Australian Shepherd, 2644, and the breed judged there by Mr. Jeff Horswell. And finally followed by the Breeded Collie. This breed judged today by Mr. Derek Smith, number 2751. And here we see the best of breed, Marama Sheepdog, number 3332. The breed judged today by Mrs. Sue Hewitt Chambers. And now here goes the Old English Sheepdog. The breed judged by Mrs. S. Nichols. Sent this one forward, number 3364. 
In our round goes the Polish Lone Sheepdog. Mr. Stuart Manor, just three. This one's number is 3408. Here goes the Pyrenean Mountain Dog. Mr. K. Savage was the breed judge. And this number is 3444. And off goes the Samoyed. Number 3497, sent through to the group by Mrs. A. Gallagher. And here goes the first of our corgis, the Cardigan Welsh Corgi. Number 3729, sent forward by Mr. R. Devine. And here goes the Pembroke Welsh Corgi. Mr. Martin Sanders, judge of the breed. And this one's number is 3803. So as our shortlist lined up along the bottom of the roof ring here. Rodney Oldham having a look along the line again. Yeah, he's ready for the award hall, so we're closing in on a decision. So the winner of the Password Group, Welsh County Club 2012, is the Australian Shepherd, number 2644. Password Group 2 is the Polish Lowland Sheepdog, 3408, and Group 3, the Samoyed, 3497, and Group 4, the Old English Sheepdog, number 3364. As our judge goes to congratulate the other shortlisted breeds, can I ask you also to congratulate them on the success here at Welsh Kennel Club 2012. Please give your, show your appreciation to our winners. The winner of the Pastoral Group Welsh Kennel Club 212, the Australian Shepherd 2644. So I'm joined by two group winners, the handlers of the group winning dogs tonight. This is Tan Negresha and this is Angie Allen. Hello guys, you're looking rather tipsy, is that true? Not quite, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> no, not, not yet, but uh, could have one or two this evening. Well, many congratulations. Thank you're you. not first time group winners, obviously, both of you. I'll start with you, Tan. Um, it seemed to be a very popular win today. Yes, it was quite a cheering crowd, so that was really nice. And that's his first group and uh, our second group winning dog for this year. So, yeah, it's been special. Very, very nice. This show has been a very good show for me. I think I've had about six group winners over here. Uh, Olsen Bernard. So, always a special show. And this best in show ring is, is spectacular, really, isn't it? And, and how did, yeah, I was just going to say, how did you cope with it, Angie? Was, yeah, it, was it better than some others that you've been in this oh, year? Yeah, this is a really good group ring. It's nice and large. You can let your dog go. That was great. And that was Tiffany's third group one this year and still only 22 months on 11cc. So absolutely wow. That's amazing, isn't it? That absolutely is amazing. Is amazing. Yeah. Well, Tan and Angie, I'll let you get on. Perhaps the bar is that way. Absolutely. And we'll see you no, again tomorrow night. Well, I'll let you guys go and we'll see you tomorrow night for Best in Show. Congratulations. And that's led off by the Australian Terrier, 4933. The breed was judged today by Mr. Jeff Luscott. And now number 5029, the Border, Border Terrier. Another breed judged today by Mr. Jay Watson. Number 5029. And here goes the Dandy Dinmont Terrier. Breed was judged today by Mr. PJ, Mrs. PJ Withers, number 5254. Now we see the Wire Fox Terrier, 5310, judged today by Mr. K. Jones. And off around the ring goes the Irish Terrier. Mr. Max King judged the breed today and sent through this one, number 5337. Followed by the Kerry Blue Terrier. Mr. Jim Morris, Judge the Breed, and selected for his best of breed, 5357, the one we see going around the ring now. Now the Manchester Terrier, 5386, Mr. Albert White was the judge today. And off goes the Lakeland Terrier, Mr. Bill Brown called the judge today, number 5382. see the Sky Terrier. This is Jay Hadley, judge the breed, and selected this one for a best of breed, 5572. And finally, but by no means least, the West Highland Wright Terrier. The breed judged today by Mr. Peter Green, and selected this one's best of breed, 5813.
Now come the award boards, called by Mr. Johnston. So we're nearing the decision to find our fifth group winner to take part in Boston Show tomorrow evening. The winner of the Terrier Group Welsh Kennel Club 2012 is the Irish Terrier. 5337. Terrier Group 2, the Danby Dinmon Terrier, 5254. Terrier Group 3 is the Lakin Terrier, 5382. And Terrier Group 4, the Kerry Blue Terrier. 5357. Five, Again, can I ask you to congratulate the other shortlisted breeds as they leave the ring? Off, led off by the winner of the Terrier Group Welsh Kennel Club 2012, the Irish Terrier 5337. Ginger, the Irish Terrier, was the winner of the Terrier Group here at Welsh Kennel Club. And John Averish, you were handling today. Um, we haven't seen Ginger for a little while. Why is that? She's been out of the ring for about six to eight weeks because there's been no CCs on offer. So we've held her back to get her in good coat and it's worked today. So we made the right choice. And so how many tickets has she got now then? I think that's her eighth today. Excellent. And uh, did you think you were going to win in front of a crowd like that today? No, you never know. It's uh, up in the air. So uh, brilliant. Yeah. So what will you do between now and Sunday night? Have a good drink. <laughs> well, we'll no, let you... We'll, I'll walk her, give her a bath, get her ready for tomorrow, and uh, we'll try tomorrow. Really? Another bath even between now and tomorrow yeah, night, yeah, really? Yeah. yeah. They look the best when they're in bath nice and clean. The hair stands nicely, lays nicely on the coat. So, yeah, get her looking the best for best in show. So. Excellent, John. We'll see you there tomorrow night. You can go and have a drink. Thank you very much. So I'm delighted to be joined by all three judges here of the groups tonight. We've got Espen Eng, we've got Rodney Oldham and Tom Johnston. And I'm going to start with Espen, who actually judged the working group. Tell us a little bit about your group tonight and your thoughts. Um, I thought I had a very mixed group, to be honest, and I'm sure you want me to be honest. Um, but the winners and, and the ones that were placed, I thought, were really, really excellent dogs. There was a big cheer for that St Bernard that went up as well. That must have been nice. Yes, it was, wasn't it? Um, it was a beautiful moving dog, very agile, very athletic, and he kept his outline beautifully also on the move. So I'm not surprised he is a crowd pleaser, but when, it, when you're in the ring judging, that's not what you're focusing on. Um, so I barely noticed, but yes, when you mention it, <laughs> he seemed to be a popular winner. <laughs> now, Rodney, you were up next with the pastoral group, and of course the Australian Shepherd, owned by the Allens, was topping your group. What were your thoughts overall on your group and your winner? Well, f first of all, I thought it was a very interesting group, and I thought I actually had plenty to choose from, so I was very well pleased with the overall quality of the group. Um, the Australian Shepherd I've obviously seen in the ring many times, never had the chance to handle it and I was very pleasantly surprised um, and pleased to end up with her as my group winner. So I thought she was a very worthy winner. She put in a you know, marvellous performance, she did just everything that was asked of her and she still got that youthful enthusiasm which sort of shows through, so it was great. Last but not least was Tom Johnson up in the main ring and your terrier group which was full of what I thought an quality dogs. An excellent group really, I was really pleased with what the breed judges had sent through to me, I was spoiled for choice. And then of course what were your thoughts on your winner at the end there? Excellent, really good, hard condition, really good muscled at the back, beautiful coat. And is there anything uh, where when you're judging that you particularly look for like is it movement, is it head type, is it breed movement, type, everything? Movement but terriers must be alert and on tiptoe of expectation sort of thing, you know, so, and most of these were. So. On day two, we actually had three groups fitting in tonight. Yes, yes, yes. What were your thoughts today? Uh, I mean, it's wonderful to see uh, uh, the, the cream of uh, British dogs in uh, such a, a fantastic group ring, which gives us ideal opportunity to, to film them looking absolutely at their best. So, yeah, some, some uh, fantastic groups tonight, and I was particularly pleased to see Tiff, the little Aussie, uh, do her stuff today. I, I fell in love with her as a, as a very young puppy and gave her something at one of her earliest shows and, and thought she was stunning even then, and so she is today. And the other, other two group winners, the Irish Terrier from America, such a smart little dog, and I think, again, a crowd favourite, and the magnificent-looking St Bernard, again, perfectly handled by Tan, who knows exactly how to get the best out of a, a big dog like that, and a great day all round, I think. Um,
Oh, first of all, could I just say, ladies and gentlemen, please don't believe everything that you've heard about me because the truth is definitely much worse. <laughs> And this lady moved in with a rough collie. And I thought that that dog was the most beautiful thing I had ever seen. Well, he let this bitch out. And Pat just went, <gasps> and I said, you shut up. I said, we haven't got <laughs> I said, we haven't got her in the car yet. <laughs> She's doing the standards. Anyway, uh, Lily goes in and she said, um, Miss Turner, Miss Turner, lacquer is prohibited here in the States. So Lily said, it is a tome and all. I've not put one up with lacquer in it air. Well, she had a little 10-inch toy and its top knot was about here, I guess. <laughs> and when it moved, it was pulling it to the side. <laughs> it was like leaning over. And she let these two bitches out in the paddock and Steve was standing there and it was another do like at Atkinson's with Pat. Steve said to me, oh, look at that, he said. What I'd give to own a bitch like that. I said, you be quiet. He said, that's not the champion. <laughs> and Alan said, what do you think? I said, oh yes, I'll have her. And as soon as I said I'd have her, Alan shook hands with me and he turned to Steve. He said, there's no offense here. He said, I'm not selling this bitch to you. I'm selling it to Derek. As, uh, This is ridiculous. No, no, no. As no. a lifelong friend and a pensioner. <laughs> so, so I said, oh, right. And he charged me 200 pounds. Good Lord. For that bitch. We made her a champion and she produced us three champions. Mm. <laughs> As exhibitors are arriving for day three of Welsh Kennel Club, today it's the turn of Gundog and Utility Groups. Now before we head to the main ring to see the groups, let's take a look, closer look at some of the Gundog breeds, with the most popular of all, the Labrador. So Frank, the Labrador Retriever, what are we looking for here? You know, I can understand why they're such a popular family dog, because they've got the most fantastic, loving and loyal natures, and long may that continue. As you know, Labradors have the biggest pool of registrations in the UK, about 22,000 of them every year. The most important thing with a Labrador is temperament, and they're great with families, they're great with children. They obviously have their job to do, they were trained as gun dogs, but that's been adapted over time, and they're now brilliant family pets. This chap likes nothing less than dealing with my godson, who often takes him for a walk by his ear, around the patio most weekends so they're great family dogs and that's why so many people love them. From the showering point of view you're wanting a short couple dog which means short bodied, big rib cage and a weatherproof water resistant double coat that equips them for working in water, working in rough cover and one of the great features of the Labrador is its otter like tail, a short thick tail coated densely in hair but no feathering. The otter tail, if you talk about otter tails in Labradors they'll really think you know your stuff but uh, again a nice broad skull, strong foreface for retrieving and well made, good angulation in front to give reach and drive and economic movement and powerful hindquarters. They should be compact, big ribs and good substance but still have activity and athleticism to do a day's work. So what are the main differences between the show dog and the working dog? Right, well a working dog was developed much more about speed. If you think of uh, an athletics person, someone who has speed, um, they go for short distances, much more leaner, whereas the endurance athletes are much more bulkier, much more heavier, and can go for a full day. And that's probably much the difference between what we originally bred a dog for, which was to work all day in the field, and that's what the show type still represents, and the field trial type, which are much more about working for short, sharp shocks, retrieving the game, coming back to their owners. So there's been a divergence in type over time. They're still very much Labradors, but they just have different types that they use for on different occasions. 
Now, is it fair to say that Labrador Retrievers can put on weight quite easily? Well, one of the traits of a Labrador is that they love eating. So you've got to be very careful about how much you feed them to make sure that they can keep a very consistent body weight. They're very easy to put weight on and that's not healthy for them. So you must keep a very careful eye about the type of food you give, the regular and definitely the amount. If they're getting a little bit podgy, you need to cut it down a bit. If they're not, then you need to keep it very balanced, but definitely need to watch weight on a Labrador. And now we're going to take a look at a breed which is successful both in the ring and at work, the German Shorehead Pointer. So Frank, what are the characteristics we're looking for on a German Shorehead Pointer? Well, primarily, they're a really versatile gun dog breed who are required to do every job that a gun dog can do, such as they go searching and seeking game, they retrieve it, they hunt, point and retrieve. Now, why did you pick the GSP then, out of all the breeds that are on offer? They're just very thoroughbred looking. I love the fact that they actually work and show. And um, I've always loved horses, couldn't have horses, so this was the next thing. So you mentioned there that they work and show. Um, it's otherwise known as dual purpose. Can yeah. you explain to the viewers what that means in terms of this breed? Well, essentially, they were brought over from Germany as hunting dogs. They weren't for showing at all. And um, everybody that owned one only bought it because they wanted to work one. They didn't buy them as pets. So we've got a background basically of all the you know old breeders. They all had working dogs first and showed. So we were brought up with that idea that you know um, you did you did both aspects. In truth, they're hunting machines and they're not for the faint-hearted. I only place my puppies with people that are prepared to part train them as gun dogs. The great thing about the German Shorthead Pointers is that they're completely unexaggerated dogs. They've got standard conformation with this very nice head, enough length and strength of the muzzle to retrieve game. Okay, then we're going down the body. Very nice shoulders here, lay back here to give a nice length of neck so the dog can get its nose down and scent. Good rib cage for heart and lung room and a very dense waterproof coat to give it protection for working in all weathers. So they're fantastic. And when you get to the hindquarters, there's a very nice turn of stifle here. That's where the power of the dog's movement comes from. So you want nice broad upper thigh and lower thigh, well let down hocks. They're an absolutely balanced, unexaggerated working breed. I love judging German shorthead pointers. They are a lovely breed, but very intelligent and they need plenty of work to keep that brain active. And now for a bit of fun, a breed with bags of character, the Irish Water Spaniel. So the Irish Water Spaniel, a really fun breed. If, if I call them the clown of the Gundog group, I, I hope I'm not doing them the disservice because they have this wonderful clownish temperament, which means sometimes they give their handlers a hard job in the ring because they really want to go. And of course, one of the lovely things about the Irish Water, and it's probably the most sort of well-known thing aspect, is their, this, this lovely personality that they have. They, they have, but that personality needs to be channeled. They need to have a leader. They need to have plenty to do. Otherwise, that energy that they've got can go in the wrong direction. They can get frustrated and mischievous and out of hand. So it's important that they get an outlet for that energy, that they have training and lots of opportunity for exercise. You know, they are water dogs. And you know, one of the great hallmarks of the breed is this oily ringlet coat which they have which covers the whole entire body apart from a little bit of the tail that gives them water resistance for working underneath the coat however they've got big barrel ribs for stamina lots of lung room now the head is is unique it's got this they have to have a fairly long head you know they have to have quality in the head and it's said that perhaps the poodle in the in the ancestry of the irish water spaniel gives them that quality in the head the the occiput here the good skull and nice foreface and wonderful eyes and expression they are really clownish dogs there's quite some low numbers i would say in irish waters but they're very successful in the gun dog group actually i think if you get a good one they're a very flashy breed they're very upstanding breed and they attract attention on the whole got marvelous character and they like to be the center of attention so 
they may be good confirmationally, but they have the temperament that makes them a really good show dog. To judge the Irish Water Spaniel, it's essential that judges go underneath the coat. You know, it has an oily quality to it, which is the top surface, but underneath that they have to have big ribs, they have to have good angulation, strong hindquarters, and remarkably webbed feet like a lot of the water dogs webbed feet which the judge should look at and this tail you know coated in the first quarter of it and then bare so there's another unique feature for the breed so and of course that clownish temperament but when they get going and you get a good one they look magnificent they're a wonderful breed so as they move back to the side of the ring just a quick loop of the ring by the sound of it and uh, that will be led off by our Italian Spinoni, 6336, put through today by Mrs. Valerie Foss. And now here goes the pointer. Three put through today by Mr. Sigurd Wilberg, 6463. And now we see the Labrador Retriever, 6825, put through by Mrs. J. Charlton. And now the American Cocker Spaniel. This is Patsy Hollings put this one through. And this one's number is 6982. And now the Cocker Spaniel. The breed put through today by Mrs. S. Sadler. Number 7125. And here we see the Irish Water Spaniel. Number 7231. Put into the group by Mrs. J. Stockley. And off goes the Welsh Springer Spaniel, 7340. Breed judged today by Mrs. B. Gills. And finally, the Spanish Water Dog, Peter Jolly, judged this breed, number 7350. And off goes the Primarana, number 7417. Put through to the group by Mrs. M. Hesford. So the award boards have been called, so we're closing in on a decision. So with the award, award boards in place. The winner of the Gundog Group Welsh Kennel Club 2012 is... The Irish Water Spaniel. Number 7231. Group 2, the Weimarana. 7417. Gundog Group 3 is... Is the pointer six four six three? And Gun Dog Group Four is the American Cocker Spaniel. Can I ask you also to congratulate them on the success here at Welsh Kennel Club as they leave the ring? So topping the Gundog group here at Welsh Kennel Club at Bilf Wells was the Irish Water Spaniel, handled as usual by Judith Carruthers. Now, fantastic win in there, such a lovely setting for you here. Absolutely fantastic, a huge ring, which was great for Merlin, not so good for me because my little legs had to keep <laughs> up with him, but yeah, just fantastic, a really lovely lineup as well. He's such a big striding dog, mm. how do you keep up with him? And he goes into that clown mode sometimes, doesn't he? Yeah, we have to work with him, we, we sort of have a mutual respect and we work together <laughs> and so what number win was that for him now at group level um, 14 15 wow. yeah it's, it's just amazing it's it's surreal it's it's like it happens to somebody else not <laughs> not me not somebody like me I thought the Gundog group today was very good quality uh, a lot of good representatives of their breed uh, thoroughly enjoyed it uh, felt that the main winners put in a good performance there was one or two uh, exhibits that let themselves down a little bit on the day um, but overall good quality dogs thoroughly enjoyed it. Okay kids I just have to have a little because memory's not very good. What's your name? 
<laughs> well, at that time, they were more pack type. Um, uh, with a bit of a snipey face and not much of a head. There was, there was nothing really much, and the temperaments were very friendly, but they were wild. And, Champion Darling Gamble. And if there's anyone in the audience who has never heard of Champion Darling Gamble, you may leave now. Because, <laughs> uh, he, well, he changed the breed, didn't he? Absolutely. To to that totally. Dog. Yes, he did. He changed the breed, the temperaments and everything. How old? He said, two tickets. <laughs> so I said to my ring still, give him his third, I said, is it? <laughs> not bloody much, she says. She's not telling me you're bleeding too far. Because <laughs> it's a sin to tell a lie. How's that? So off goes the Akita, 7435, breed judged today by Mr. Paul Harding. And now the Dalmatian, 7615, put through the group by Mrs. C. Oatridge. And here goes the Japanese Shiba Inu, Mr. Martin Freeman was the breed judge, and this one's number is 7846. And around goes the Laza Apso. Mr. Frank Kane was the breed judge, and this one's number is 7962. And here we see the miniature schnauzer. The breed put through to the group by Mr. David Killerley. This one's number is 8009. Now round goes the ring, goes the miniature poodle. Mr. Martin Freeman was the breed judge, and this one's number is 8075. And next, the standard poodle. Mr. Ernie Patterson was the breed judge, and this one's number is 8121. Now we move on to the Sarpai. Mr. Derek Smith was the breed judge, and this one's number is 8247. And finally, but by no means least, the Sheep Zoo. Mr. Jeff Luskett put this one through to the group, number 8296. And the boards are being called, so we're closing in on a decision. So the winner of the utility group, Welsh Kennel Club 2012, is... It's the Dalmatian, number 7615. Utility group 2, and that is... It's the Laza Apso, 7962. Utility group 3 is... The Japanese Shiba Inu, 7846. And utility group four is, it is the standard poodle, 8121. So as our judge, Mr. Espinen, goes to congratulate each of the other shortlisted breeds, can I ask you also to congratulate them as they leave the ring? So can I ask the winners to, to do a lap of honor? Just so everybody can show their appreciation and congratulate you on your success here at Welsh Kennel Club 2012. So the winner of the utility group here at Welsh Kennel Club was Jenny and her Dalmatian. Wasn't that exciting? Very exciting. Very, yes. Did you expect that at all? No, not at all. Of course not. And tell us a little bit about this dog. Well, he's foreign bred. I went all the way to Sweden in the middle of winter time to, to breed from him on day 25 and 26. Everybody said I was mad, but it worked. It worked. And I've got two little sisters who are also doing extremely well. So you're very tough then? Delighted. <laughs> Delighted. And the nice thing is the Norwegian owner of the stud dog and the grandfather of it both came to the British Dalmatian Club Championship show last week and he went best in show. And they were absolutely thrilled. Although they were competing against me, they were very thrilled that he got it. You stay on cloud nine for some time then? I hope so. <laughs> well done, Jenny. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. And now can I ask you to give a very warm welcome to our group winners. And it'll be led in by the, the smooth coat chihuahua, the petit basset griffon von Neon, the Australian shepherd, the St Bernard, 
the Irish Terrier, the Irish Water Spaniel, the Dalmatian. Mr. Espineng now moves to see the winner of our toy group, the Smooth Coat Chihuahua. Smooth Coat Chihuahuas were judged by Mr. P. R. Wheeler. So please give your warm support to the winner of our toy group, the Smooth Coat Chihuahua, number 478. The winner of the toy group under Mr. Frank Kane. Our toy group winner, the Smooth Coat Chihuahua, number 478. Now on the table, we have the winner of the Hound Group. It's the Petit Basset Griffin Von Dion. So we, here we see the winner of our Hound Group, the Petit Basset Griffin Von Dion, number 1559. Put through to the group by Mr. Rod Price and the winner of the group by Mr. Espineng himself. The winner of the Welsh Kennel Club to Hound Group, the Petit Basset Griffin Von Dion, number 1559. Now we see the winner of the pastoral group, the Australian Shepherd, number 2644. Put through to the group by Mr. Jeff Horswell, who judged the breed. So off goes our winner of the pastoral group, the Australian Shepherd, number 2644. Made best of breed by Mr. Jeff Horswell and best in group by Mr. Rodney Oldham. Pastoral group winner, the Australian Shepherd, 2644. The winner of our working group is St Bernard, number 4758. Put through to the group by Mr Bob Gregory. And won the group under Mr Espineng. Working group winner, St Bernard. 4758. So now on the table we have the winner of our Terrier group, the Irish Terrier, number 5337. So off goes our Terrier group winner, the Irish Terrier, number 5337. Made best of breed by Mr. Max King and best in group by Mr. Tom Johnson. The winner of our Terrier group, the Irish Terrier 5337. The Irish Water Spaniel was made best to breed by Mrs. J. Stockley at a breed entry of 24. The winner of our Gun Dog group, the Irish Water Spaniel, number 7231. Best to breed under Mrs. J. Stockley and best in group under Mr. Frank White. Winner of the Gun Dog Group, the Irish Water Spaniel, 7231. And now the seventh of our group winners from the Utility Group, the Dalmatian, number 7615. Our Utility Group winner. The Dalmatian, number 7615. Off around the ring goes our best, of, best in group utility winner. The Dalmatian, 7615. So now, each of our group winners having been seen and judged again by Mr. Espen Eng. Another quick look along the line before the two award boards are called out into the ring. And that all-important decision of best in show made for this year at Welsh Kennel Club 2012.
The winner of Best in Show Welsh Kennel Club 2012 is the Petit Basset Griffon Vendéon, champion sole trader Peekaboo. And reserve Best in Show Welsh Kennel Club 2012. It is from the Pastoral Group, the Australian Shepherd, champion Allmark Fifth Avenue. So these are both males, I think. Sorry, bitches. So we need a male for our best opposite sex. And that's going to the Dalmatian from the Utility Group. And that's champion Offerdale Chevalier. The best in show, Welsh Kennel Club 2012, is from the Hound Group, the Petit Basset Griffon Vondion, champion sole trader Peekaboo. Best in show at Welsh Kennel Club 2012 is Chilly, the PBGV, who's trying to steal my shot here. Here's Gavin Robertson, the handler. That seemed to me like the best win yet. That was right up there. That was a really good lineup of dogs tonight, and you have some quality dogs in there, and she put on a great performance, so fantastic. Really, really, really nice, and it's meant a lot winning under that gentleman on Friday in the group, because, you know, he's a well-respected judge and breeder around the world, so it means a lot. So uh, it was a really nice win, really good. So Gavin was handling, but Sarah, you were watching. What was that like for you? You would think it probably might get a little bit ner less nervous, but it gets more and more nerve-wracking watching on the outside when you've got no control over it whatsoever. You just have to stand there and watch. So, um, but no, it's, it, we're just, oh, it's just a delightful year we're having. It's just fantastic. You've got an awful lot of prizes to take back with you guys anyway, and some money, I see. Oh, so <laughs> well done again. <laughs> well £100 done. cash, even better for a Scotsman. <laughs> So, Best in Show is finally over, but what an exciting lineup there was for Espineng. Obviously, you put a few of those breeds through yourself from the groups, but um, I had goosebumps outside the ring. You must have been the same in there. I did too. I think it was a really beautiful lineup, and I was very pleased and actually very honoured to judge such a beautiful lineup of dogs. What were you looking for in those final moments? Well, basically, you're looking for a dog that corresponds to your vision about type in that breed. But then, of course, in this lineup, quite a few of them did that. I'm looking for the dog that wows me, the dog's dog that gives you that goosebump. And especially when moving around in complete sync and showing that agility and workmanlike abilities and attitude. I enjoy attitude. I like to look at dogs that look back at me and say, I'm the one. So those factors are often decide, de deciding in a best in show lineup. But the breed type has to be there. It's not just about the show. The show is the icing of the cake, but you can insist on the icing when you have such a lineup. So I did. <laughs> and that was your first best in show in this country, was it? In this country, yes. I've been fortunate to judge in a few other countries. And will you remember this one for some time? I sh sure will. This is one of my favorite shows. I've been here many times and to uh, end up judging Best in Show here was uh, like a dream. Well, it was like a dream for us to actually to watch that, wasn't it, Simon? Um, very exciting, a exactly. very quality lineup, as everyone's actually been mentioning. Yeah, yeah. Some real top winners, and there's yeah. some leading dogs in our top dog competition. Yeah. Three, three of our uh, best in show winners from this year, all breeds already. C uh, several up and coming youngsters that are, I'm sure will get there before the next few shows are out. So, very exciting lineup by all accounts, yes. Thanks very much, Simon. It has been a lovely show anyway. Well, that's the show all wrapped up, and congratulations to Jilly, the PBGV. And thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time from City of Birmingham, where we'll get our first look at yet another canine activity, agility. Agility.